right, again, in this example, we're looking for when is the function undefined. So in this case, ladies and gentlemen, we actually have two different, we have two restrictions. We have the square root of x plus 1 and we have 1 over x squared minus 1. I'm just kind of breaking them apart, all right? But there's two different restrictions. We could have a 0 in the denominator, or we could have a negative number um, under a radical. Well, first of all, I'm oh, sorry, was that squared? Did I wrote that down? That's x squared plus 1. All right, first of all, remember to identify the restriction for our, to identify the restriction for our radical, we would say x squared plus 1 has to be greater than or equal to 0. Well, when I go ahead and solve, I can't take the square root of a negative number, right? And just think about it, guys. It doesn't matter any negative or positive number. Is it ever going to be negative? No. So guess what? They're, all real numbers are fine for this. There are no restrictions. However, over here, remember to find the restrictions, is you set the denominator equal to 0, and you solve. And we do realize that if x equals one, plus or minus 1, then those functions would be restrictions. So the only restrictions of this function where it's not going to be defined is when the denominator equals 0. Because there are no numbers that are going to make our radicand, um, rad radicand negative. If you wanted to write the domain, or we know how to write the domain, it's all real numbers except for 1 and negative 1. So that would look like this. 